Hey everyone, my name is Haley, and y'all know me as the fam jeweler. Uh, I am doing my third vlog, and this is kind of a special one because as of today, I hit 100 subscribers, and I just checked before I started this vlog, and I'm at 113, so it was a pretty exciting day for me. Um, I was sitting on the edge of my seat, literally, for about probably 20 minutes. I kept checking it. It's very addicting. And um, watched it jump up from 95 to 96 to 97. And I was at 99, and I was stuck there for about 10 minutes. But I just wanted to thank you all so much, all of you, for subscribing to my channel and for all the encouragement and support that you are giving me. Um, I'm actually really enjoying doing this, and I would not be doing this if y'all didn't push me and convince me and motivate me to do all this. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for subscribing to me, um, and everybody who has retweeted everything that I've put out there and quoted a lot of my tweets and asked people to subscribe to me and everything. Thank y'all so much. Um, I feel really blessed in a weird way. But so tonight, um, I'm going to be talking about probably two or three different things. Um, the first thing that I'm going to talk about, and I'll be showing you here pretty soon, some earrings that I sell. Um, these I think there's about three or four different types of or styles of earrings that I'm going to show you. And they are pretty much special order type earrings. Um, and I'll explain that in a little bit. You'll see what I'm talking about and I'll explain it. What I need special information. Um, and I mainly only do these earrings as gifts for baby showers, wedding showers, birthday gifts, so anniversary gifts and everything. So that's one topic that I'm going to be talking about. The next one is I am actually going to show you my display and I'm going to really explain not every single earring, but quite a few of my two displays that I, of all the earrings that I made for all the big, all the YouTubers now. They're not all big YouTubers. There's some, there's quite a bit big YouTubers and then there's some small ones and there's a couple on there that are not really YouTubers. They're talking about doing it and I think they know who they are. Um, I just went ahead and made earrings to represent them because I consider them friends and so um, that's, they're not YouTubers. So not everybody is big YouTubers on this little display. But I'm going to explain, um, most of them you can understand why I chose the charm. Um, some of them I just kind of had to throw it together just to make earrings. Um, a lot of it I already had on hand and there's been some stuff that I had to like special order. So those are pretty much the two things that I'm going to be talking about in this vlog. And I said on... Twitter earlier today about a special announcement. I was planning on doing a giveaway since I hit 100 subscribers, but I think I'm gonna wait on that. Um, probably another week or two, uh, because I have several, several things that I need to take care of with my business. Um, speaking of my business. I have been working hard. I'm not done, but I've been really working on trying to update my Facebook jewelry page. So, um, if you haven't gone and liked that page, please go and like it. Uh, you can message me on there, um, on the Facebook for the, um, albums on my jewelry page. Uh, it gives a description of like how much they are and if it, if you need like special order it or whatever so um yeah though that's pretty much what this vlog is going to be about and i'm really going to take the time i'm not going to rush through it explaining all these things this is going to be a pretty good lengthy vlog 
So I really, really hope you enjoy it. So let's move on to these pre-ordered type, I don't really know what to call them, but pre-ordered type earrings. So here we go. Okay, so these are gender earrings. Um, this is the original pair that I made for me and my sister and my mom. All of ours look different, but this is mine because I have two girls. And basically it's um, the gender order of your children. So if you order these from me, I would need to know the, the order of the gender or the gender order of your kids. Sorry. Um, and this is what it would look like. Well, if you had two girls, this is what it would look like. But trying to give you an idea because it's not going to look exactly like this. Um, instead of these, I don't have any more of these white ones. So I use these white hearts. So these are the gender earrings. Moving on to these, I have named these the birthstone. Um, it's basically just the color of, it's the um, order of the children, but with the birthstone in that order of the children, starting from top, top to bottom. I meant to explain that with these, it's top to bottom. So oldest being at the top, going all the way down to the bottom. And I've also um, created some and I've made as gifts with a yellow bead at the bottom for people who have just found out they're pregnant and didn't know what they're having yet or weren't going to find out what they're having until they had the baby. And I've actually had some people use that to basically announce that they're pregnant, which I thought was really, really cool. But anyways, moving back to the birthstone. So these are the birthstones. This is for my two girls. You can't really see the beads on top. But it's like a light pink and then like a yellowish color for October and November. Um, I don't really sell a lot of these or really don't even uh, give these as gifts because you really have to know the person and the, their birth, you know, the kid's birth dates. This one's just simple. All you need to know is just the gender order. But this one's a little complicated. Um, so these are like special for people that I'm really close to. And I know their kids pretty well and everything. So these, this is the birthstone. The next one I think was really, really cool. Um, are the, I saw these I do charms at Hobby Lobby. And I was like, man, I have to, I got to see what I can do with this. Because I know I can create something. And so I created this. And this is called the anniversary earrings. Now the two beads on the top. This is actually made for a friend of mine who's getting married in May which is my birthday's in May also. So this is my birthstone basically. And um, so back in July of 2017, I bought some of these charms right here and I made my sister be my guinea pig. And so um, I went ahead and made them hers. She got married in July. So hers are like a ruby color birthstone for July. And so didn't really have any meaning why I put two two beads. I just wanted them to stand out the color. So when I handed my sister the earrings and gave them to her, I was explaining what it meant. And she said, well, two beads for husband and wife coming together as one. And I, I thought that was really, really cool. So um, let me show you this real quick. This piece of paper right here has been a lifesaver for me. Um, I googled uh, the different uh, birthstone and I've this is not completely accurate this is just what I could find closest to some of them look pretty identical to what it should be and some of them are just kind of slightly off colored but this is what I could find at Hobby Lobby and I have a special container that has 12 little slots that have each different colored beads and I have a whole bunch of them and so it's for specifically for birthstone. I wanted to show you all that. This last one is this really, really cool heart charm with a heartbeat. Now, I found this at Hobby Lobby. Like I said, I get almost everything from Hobby Lobby. And I originally bought these two to make for a friend of mine. And to, I just wanted to make her pair of earrings. And so I wanted it to be something very sentimental and everything and so I asked her what her grandkids gender order was and she told me and so I made her earrings so these are the different little beads that I use 
um, for those. So these are the, and I usually call these like the grandparent earrings, birthstone earrings or something like that, which I really like these charms. And then you have the anniversary earrings, and then you have the birthstone earrings, and then you have the gender earrings. One more thing I forgot about these uh, birthstone earrings, the heart at the bottom, um, depending on what birthstones I have to use for your earrings, if you order these from me, um, they might be a different color. So each pair of earrings is not going to be the same heart color. Um, and I'm going to have to get more of these. But all these earrings, like this pair, and this pair, I've actually made just a few minutes ago before, before I started vlogging this. So one last look. So these are all the special order type of earrings that I was explaining earlier. Alright, last but not least, this is all the YouTubers that have made big and small or not even YouTubers at all to represent them <laughs> with the paranormal <laughs> they really like theirs that I made to represent them and so I ended up mailing it to them so I gotta come up with something else for them alright so let me start. This is Exploring with Josh. Um, and I really, really like these. Uh, ignore the E's are backwards on top. Ignore that, please. I haven't been able to straighten him out yet. Um, so, you know, a lot of y'all that follow him and everything, he's the first one that I've actually discovered. And the first YouTuber. And so he's number one. Um, I really like it. I really like him because he does a lot of abandoned, really only just abandoned videos, and I really like that. And so, and I'm sure y'all have seen him with the gas mask on and everything. I had a special order of those. Here's Omar. Forgive me a kiss. Oh my gosh. Melissa's. I'm actually um, going to steal the engagement ring charms and use them for something else, but I have something picked out that I'm going to replace those with. So, this is James the Fam. I used to have Fam spelled out on these lower loops. But then, when I was making his necklace, someone suggested BS for Blind Savage. So, I ended up going back and changing it. And then, the beads, you can't really tell. But they're black and blue, which is the colors I used on his necklace. And that's my goal is for these necklaces that I'm making for all these big YouTubers. And now I'm starting to make necklaces for some smaller YouTubers also. Um, I'm really trying to make the um, the necklace match the earrings that, that I'm, like all these earrings. Not all of them are going to match. This is Paranormal Tyler. Mo Sarji. His, I uh, wasn't in... in like I said again, the letters are backwards, so ignore it. Um, but his, you know, his saying is live a little. Kazzy official. I have Mike's. Because, you know, he's a rapper. Kind of, sort of. D-Master Flex. I had a special order. Those charms, those flexing charms. Allie H. He says he's Superman. Mr. Carlo. Urbex Carlo. Aldo. The G Team. Me. Mr. Sorry. John. Shane Myson. Shane. My buddy. Jeff Statics. Jess Warfield, Jeff Warfield, like I said, they're just friends. They don't really, they haven't really started a YouTube channel yet. Um, Ashley, Nicole, breaking the shell. I'm actually going to remake those earrings, by the way. 
CJ experience, urban ghost, urban exploration. Like I said, what the paranormal I gotta remake. D Dog vlogs, I'm not too thrilled with, but oh well. The steel one. I can't wait to make his necklace. I know exactly what I'm gonna use. George the fam, my little buddy. So that's it. Um, I just, like I said, these are all for me to keep. Um, so yeah, I really, really hope you enjoyed this. Well guys, I hope you really enjoyed that and I hope you understand a little bit more about what I do and why I chose all those charms for the YouTubers and um, my creations and I just really hope you enjoyed. Um, I might go ahead and call it a night. I'm tired from all the excitement of the 100 subscribers. By the way, thank y'all again from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate it and I'm still getting more subscribers. Um, so I really hope y'all enjoyed this video and live your inspirational dream is what I say and I will talk to y'all again later. All right. Bye.